Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, heartbeats. Good morning to you. Happy Monday morning to you this morning. Good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Latanya. How are you this morning? Hope that you guys had a wonderful weekend. Hope that you had a wonderful love day. Good morning, Heartbeat Alicia. And good morning, Heartbeat Belinda. Good morning, Heartbeat Amani. What's going on? Good morning, good morning, good morning. So as you guys know, I am always like super duper excited to be before you this morning. I'm always excited about another day of living and I'm sure that you are too. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get right in it, on it, okay? Good morning, Heartbeat Andrea. And so this morning, we're gonna continue our conversation on receiving his love. And for if there's anyone that's on here who does not know who I am, I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. So welcome to the Gathering of Hearts this morning. And once again, we are going to be continuing talking about receiving his love. And so last week when we talked about, we talked about how great God is and how much he loves us and that he would do the amazing to show his love for us. Good morning, Heartbeat Motley, that he would do his amazing to show us. You know, he told us that he gave his one and only forgotten son that we might have life, the abundant life. And then he said, hey, look, don't worry about what you're going through. He said, take my yoke upon you before it's, because it's easy and my burdens are light. And so this morning, I just want to continue showing you about the love of God, the love that he has for you so that you can receive his love, that you may go on, that you may walk into your purpose. Good morning, heartbeat, Christine, my put and pop. Good morning to you. And so <clears throat> let's continue on th and, um, about his love. And I want you to think about this. Think about how much God loves you that he would make you in his own image. Yes, you. You're the one who says that you have flaws. The one who says I have flaws. The one who says sometimes, oh, no, I don't know if I'm good enough for that. But he chose you to make you in his own image. Let's look at Genesis 126 through 28. And I'm going to be reading this out of the voice translation. Good morning, Harvey Jasmine. Good morning, girl. Um, so let's look at Genesis 1, uh, 26, 28 in the voice translation. It says this, it says, now let us conceive a new creation, humanity made in our image. And this is God talking fashioned according to our likeness. And let us grant them authority over all the earth, the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, the domesticated animals and the small creeping creatures on the earth. So God did just that. I, I just like that verse right there. So God did just that. He created humanity in his image, created them male and female. Then God blessed them and gave them directive. He said, be fruitful and multiply, populate the earth. I make you trustees of my estate. So care for my creation and rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, and every creature that roams across this earth. And so once again, when we read the scripture, when we hear the scripture, we hear the love of God. He said, it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter how tall you are. It doesn't matter how skinny you are. He said, I'm going to make you in my image. Good morning, heartbeat, Ophelene. He says, I'm going to make you in my image. And so when God thinks, um, thought of you, he thought of himself. He looked at himself. He was like, I'm good. I'm perfect. He said, you know what? I'm going to make creation to be just like me. So what am I saying to you? Don't ever insinuate that you're not enough. Don't ever insinuate that, you know, I'm too short. I'm too small. I'm too this. I'm too that. Don't ever insinuate that God made a mistake when he created you because he said, I made you in my image. He said, I wanted you to be just like me. It says when he thought of 
about this thing. He said, let me make a human creation that'll be just like me. And so I want you to know that you are good enough. You are smart enough. You are tall enough. You are light enough. You are enough. You are enough. You are enough. You know, when I was, you know, at one point I kept saying I wanted to lose weight. And then it hit me. Why are you like on yourself about being a certain size? If you weren't the size you were, if you weren't the size that you are, then the skinny girl wouldn't know that she's skinny. So don't worry about it if you have a few extra pounds. That skinny girl would not know she was skinny if you weren't the size that you are. So you are important. You are in God's image. And he says he loves you. He wants you to know that, look, I love you so much that I made you in, in my image. Get this. The Bible tells us and even encourages us how much that God loves us. It says he even knows the number of hairs on your head. Okay? That's just how important you are to God. He even tells us that you are not forgotten. And so, you know, you might feel like you're going through something, but I want you to know he sees, he hears, and he is planning to come check on you. In fact, he's doing things behind the scenes that you don't even know about. You want to know how you're making it? You want to know that even though you're crying, even though you're frustrated, you're still making it. Why? Because he's doing things behind the scenes. He's working even when we can't see it, even when we can't feel it. He's working. He's so good that he never stops working on your behalf. Why? Because he just loves you like that. Number two is this. It says he gave us an assignment. Remember, if we look back at the scripture, I'm going to read it. It says, um, so God did just that. He created humanity in his image, created them male and female. And then it says, then God blessed them and he gave them a directive. So he gave you an assignment. Yes, you. No matter what your education level is, he gave you a gift. He gave you a talent. He gave you something that nobody else has. Why? Because you are unique. He has blown the breath of life into you. He has given you purpose. So I don't care what education level you have. It doesn't matter that you don't have a doctorate degree. You might not even have a master's or a bachelor's. You just have a GG, a God's given degree. Don't worry about it. He blew the breath of life in you. He gave you that talent. He gave you that purpose. And now he said, be productive, perfect that thing, cultivate that thing that I gave you. He says, I gave you an assignment. This, what does this mean? He chose you, Glory to God. You, he came wherever you are. And he said, Arthur Lee, I want you to do this. Jasmine, I want you to do this. Jasmine, I want you to make women feel beautiful. I want you to create something that's natural, just like me, straight from the earth. He said, and it's going to be productive. It's going to take care of your life. It's going to produce well for you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help you. It's going to hold you. He, it's going to finance your life. He's so good that he gives us a talent where we're born to multiply and to do things with our hands, the gift that's already on the inside of us because he gave it to us. So you want to know why certain things bother you? You want to know why? Because that's the gift that God has given to you. Amen. Then the last thing is this. He says this. He gave us authority. It says, let me let me go back and read it. He says, then God blessed them and gave them this directive. He said, be fruitful and multiply, populate the earth. He says, I make you trustees of my estate, so care for my creation. What does that mean? He gave you managerial authority. He automatically made you in charge. Glory to God. He automatically gave you control. He automatically said that you are an entrepreneur because I've given you the authority. So I don't know who this message is for this morning, but forever, whoever you are, there is a gift that's on the inside of you and God gave it to you because he loves you. So I'm telling you, go back and get, pull out those dreams. Go back and pull back what, and pull out what God has given you. He told you to do something. He's going to finance it for you. You don't have to worry about where the money is coming from. Glory to God, because he put that thing on the inside of you. And he said, now my love is called calling you to the forefront. You are my creation. It is your season. It is your time to bloom. It is your time to let the world know, as Pastor Cynthia would say, what you are famous in heaven for. It's time to let the world know why I originally birthed you. You know, the Bible says, I know the plans that I have for you. It even says he knew it before you were in your mother's womb. So now is the time. He's coming now. And he's reaching down to where you are and he's pulling you to the forefront that that gift that he placed Based on the inside of you at the beginning of creation, he's calling that gift forth that the whole earth, that the whole world might know why you were born. I'm telling you, what kind of love is this? Who 
enough. Don't you ever let anybody tell you you're not pretty enough. You're not handsome enough. You remind them that I'm made in the image of my God. I'm made in the image of my king. And what does that mean? That means that if I'm all right with God, then I'm all right with you because I'm all right with myself. I'm loving myself. He says, be creative. He says, take care of what I put you in charge of. And so that means you be in charge of your own life. Don't you let nobody take control of you. You do what the word of God says. Those are the instructions that he has given you on this morning. And I'm telling you during this month of love, that's what I like to call February. During this month of love, God is expressing his love to you. So you receive the love of God. Receive what God has for you. Because I'm telling you, it all ends in a praise. Don't worry about the nights that you stayed up late. Don't worry about the nights that you cried. Don't even worry about the nights where it feel like God didn't answer you. He didn't answer you because he was preparing. He heard your conversation though. He heard your words. He saw your tears, but he was working things out on your behalf. Working it out for this day, this day right here that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Glory to God on this morning. Come on and give God a praise. He loves you so much that he made you in his image. That is the highest compliment ever. God wanted me to look just like him. That is the greatest compliment that you can ever receive. So heartbeats, what am I telling you? Get on out there today and be productive, produce, recreate, create, do what God has put you on this earth to do. He said he blessed you. What does that mean? Everything you do is blessed. That means you can't fail. Even if you try to, you can't. Why? Because the blessing has been placed on your life. And what God has blessed, no man can curse. No man can turn it around. Glory to God. You ought to be excited because I sure am. I can't wait to see how God uses you on this morning. So this is what I want you to do. Have a great week. Know that you've been made in his image. And guess what? I'll see you right back here next Monday morning at 7.30 a.m. to gather the hearts to give you your weekly dosage of what God has for you. I love you so much. I love you a bunch. Make sure you share this video so that it will encourage someone else. And if you have not already subscribed to the YouTube um, channel, make sure you do that again. I love you a bunch and I see you heartbeat vile. I saw you pop on. Good morning to you and blessings. Let me just say this real quick. To all the entrepreneurs, be blessed. Know that God is about to uh, break the unbreakable. He's about to move the immovable. You're about to walk into the best days of your life. Your business is about to blossom. It is about to blow up. So go out there and do what God has graced you to do. I'll see you next Monday morning. Remember this. God wants me whole and I'm getting whole by the minute. I'll see you guys next Monday. Love you a bunch. Happy Love Day.